Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a very easy, simple Halloween look for you guys. Some of you guys have requested for me to do something a little bit on the easier side and not just like bold and like a full-on transformation. And I completely understand that because I personally am a mom and I don't have time to sit sit down and do like four hours of makeup. Some, sometimes you just want to do something very quick and simple and be out the door whenever you're like going out trick-or-treating with your kids or something like that. I think that the most common Halloween costumes that I see from moms are cats. I see bunnies and just things that you can just put on a couple of ears and be out the door basically. For this tutorial, I'm going to be doing a cat makeup tutorial and I wanted to do it like a very glam cat. You can definitely do this whenever you're going out with your girls or wherever you're going. And also this tutorial is going to be a talk through. I'm going to be doing a step by step. I have been doing a lot of voiceovers as of lately and it, that's because it's very time consuming to do a lot of body painting and special effects makeup. Um, but I also miss talking to you guys so that's why I'm back with a talk through tutorial. So if you're interested in seeing this type of video then just keep watching. To start off, I'm going to be using some of the scotch tape that I picked up from Target. You can find a whole bunch of different patterns. I just really like the colors of this one. I personally just love colorful stuff, so I know that these are maybe like $2 or less. Let me just cut it. Not too big, but not too small either. We cannot start this makeup tutorial without putting some ears on. I got these from the Dollar Tree and there you go, you have your costume ready. <laughs> all you have to do is just dress in all black and then do your makeup girl. This does tend to start to peel off, so just make sure that you are applying this on bare skin. I'm doing this before I apply an eye primer. I just carved out my eyebrows, but we're not going to go that high up. and We are going to be creating a cat eye. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit lower, I think, right? Just a little bit away from the eyebrow right there. Okay, so now that we have that tape set on the eye, we're going to be applying some concealer. You can apply your favorite eyeshadow base. I just, I don't have one, so I always use my concealer. And I'm just going to be applying it all throughout the lid. Just like so. I've already carved out my eyebrows, so I really don't need to take it too far up. Just as long as it's blended and you can't really see the concealer anymore. If you've been watching my Halloween tutorials, you guys know that I've been using this palette so much as of lately. This is the Pretty Vulgar Night Girl Eyeshadow Palette that we received in BoxyCharm. It was so long ago that I don't even remember what month it was, but I just love this palette for very smoky eyes. This is definitely my go-to for smoky eyes. I really need to get a neutral shade palette, um, but this here is perfect for the smoky eyes. As you guys can see, this is what it looks like on the inside. Some of you guys, I think most of you guys may have it because you guys watch my BoxyCharm videos every month, so I'm pretty sure you guys have BoxyCharm. The first color I'm going to be taking is the black eyeshadow right here that's called All Nighter. This is such a beautiful, like, it's just super intense. It's a very intense black, and it might be a little bit scary to work with because I know when I first started using I'm like oh shit I wasn't expecting it to be that pigmented so it's important whenever you're doing a smoky eye to start your eyes first before applying your face makeup because if you if you have fallout with a black eyeshadow it's just not going to be pretty on your face makeup I like using a lot of my BoxyCharm products because since most of you guys are probably subscribed, I want to show you guys different ways that you guys can use the products that you guys are receiving on a monthly basis. So um, I'm going to be picking up this BMX 420 brush. This is a detailed brush from Moda Pro Brush that we received I don't know when, but I'm going to be using this one and taking that black eyeshadow that I showed you guys. So just going right into this one right here. With this color, I'm just going to begin to pack it right in here. Just like that. Make sure you're pushing it in there so that you get the most intense black pigment in there. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this show I've been watching on Netflix. It's called Undocumented and it's produced by Selena Gomez. I seen her that she posted it on her Instagram and I'm like, whoa. So not a lot of people talk about immigration and stuff, so I was like interesting 
So I started watching it, you guys, and I've been crying so much, you know, because I have a lot of friends and I do have family that have experienced, like, deportation and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if you guys have been with me long enough to see the video where I was reunited with my dad after 10 years of not seeing him. I do have that video here on my channel. I know it's not beauty related, but it was such a special moment in my life that I just want to be able to look back at that video and just be reminded of how beautiful of a feeling it was to see my dad again. And not only that, but just to show him my new life because the last time that I seen him, I was like maybe 14 years old. So many, many years later, um, now I have a family and he got to meet for the first time. So it was just such a special video and I hope you guys get a chance to see it. Uh, I, I will go ahead and link it up here for you guys so you guys can check that out. Let's get back to this tutorial. <laughs> Okay, so now I am going to be taking the Moda Pro brush, and this is the BMX 466 Shading Brush. This is also from BoxyCharm. I'm going to be using the color Flip Out from the eyeshadow palette right here. Okay, so with this eyeshadow, I'm going to be applying it right up here. Just like right at the top of that black. like that so you can smoke out that eye. I'm really excited to see the outcome of this. I never plan my looks you guys. Everything I do is just like spontaneous and in the moment and I look at an eyeshadow palette and I'm like okay I'm gonna use this color because it's really pretty. I go along around that eyeshadow that I want to use and just look at the colors that complement that color. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking a clean blending brush. This here is the Detail Diffuse Crease Brush. This is the E33 Sigma brush, and I'm just going to begin to blend up here. I am wearing a wig. I'm not sure if you guys watched this review on this wig that I did, that I purchased from Amazon. I just wanted to play with it, you know, do something different. And... I cut the little hairs to make it look a little bit more realistic, like little baby hairs, and they're getting so annoying. Okay, so that's what that's looking like. I am going to go back into that black eyeshadow with the brush that I used to diffuse it, and I'm going to be going in here and moving upwards slightly like that. Ooh, just like how that pretty that looks. It looks so blended and pretty right there. Okay, this fucking hair is driving me nuts. I need a clip. Perfect. <laughs> All right, there you have it. There is that cat eye right there, and let's move on. All right, and now I'm going to be taking my Sigma E60 large shader brush, and I'm going to be dipping into the color Nocturnal from the eyeshadow palette right here. This is a really big brush. Obviously, it like covers up basically the whole eyeshadow pan right there. So, dipping into that color, I'm just going to be placing it right in here. My freaking brush was dirty. Shit. So, just packing that color in there. I'm going to take the color Hide and Seek from the eyeshadow palette right here. And with that color, I'm going to be working that right in here just to blend everything together. Going back into that black, I really want to intensify it right here. Okay, I think that's good enough. I really like that. I'm going to go into the color Break Free, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to be applying it right at the water duct right there. I keep taking off my ears and putting them back on. Anyway, you guys, um, I'm just going over this black right here, and I did this other eye off camera. Um, but I just want to go back over the black just so that it looks like I have like a wing liner sort of. Okay, so now the moment of truth. Let me take off this stupid pen right here. Okay, ready? Bam! <coughs> now I'm going to be taking my CoverGirl Full Spectrum eyeliner and this one is in color silver metallic and I'm gonna be applying it right in here in the waterline just to make it look like the eyes are a little bit more on the open side 
I'm taking it right in here just like that okay doing the same thing to the other side I'm definitely not applying it in the waterline only I'm bringing it down underneath the waterline so just like that all right so now that I've done that I'm gonna be also using my sleek makeup eyeliner and this one is in zodiac black I'm gonna apply it to the outer edge of the eye right here just like that and then doing the same thing on this side and then if you guys can see this came down a little bit further out so just taking a brush and blending that part out the brush that I use to diffuse this part out is the Sigma E30 brush and with the same brush I'm using the color All Nighter which is the black eyeshadow that I first used and applying it right underneath the eye right here just to kind of smoke it out Okay, so the eyes are done. I just have to apply some mascara, some lashes, and then apply the rest of my face, and then I'll be right back with you guys to do, like, the last-minute touches for, like, uh, cat-inspired makeup. Um, so just do your makeup however you do it, like your face application, and then I'll show you guys what I do to create the cat makeup. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> I look like a completely different person I know. <laughs> That's what makeup does. It covers all of my freaking pimples. Look at that. I'm breaking out so bad right here. Okay, let's move along. Since you guys requested like an easy Halloween makeup look, you're not going to be buying like special effects kits or like body paints that are professional. So I wanted to show you guys this one here. This one is the Snazaroo paint. You guys can get this from your local Michaels. And I believe it's like $5.99 for this and it'll last you for like maybe a few years. I don't know how long you're supposed to have this, but I've had it for quite a minute, and yeah. I'm going to be diving into this paint here. You just have to wet it and use it with a, well, you can use any brush, I guess. But do not buy the paints that are from Target, Walmart, or any of the, the Halloween stores, because those paints tend to move and smear and stuff. So I just recommend that you go and purchase this one from Michaels. It's really, really good. So I'm going to begin by applying the paint right up here, just like this. And whenever you apply the first layer of paint, you got to let it dry before you apply a second layer. I've said this a few times in some of my videos. Um, if you continue to add it as the paint is still wet, then it's not going to appear like a super intense black. It's just going to look kind of funky. I'm applying it all the way to the side of the nose just like that. I'm bringing it down here. Oh shit, that tickles. I think I went a little bit too high up. <laughs> uh. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to be bringing the line right down here like that. I just realized that I took off my ears again. Okay, let's put them back on. Don't do what I'm about to do because applying paint to the lips is just not a good idea. You have to have a black liquid lipstick for this because paint is just going to transfer. But I just want to show you guys what I would do. I would definitely go buy a black liquid lipstick, which I should have and I didn't do. Okay, even if I had a black liquid lipstick, I would have to like stay with my mouth open so it doesn't transfer to my bottom lip. So, get the como pendeja. <laughs> Cody, you're fucking gross! Sorry, you guys, my boyfriend just fucking farted. So gross. I'm gonna be using some of this NYX liquid lipstick, liquid liner, I'm sorry. And this one is the white liner. I'm gonna be applying little dots right here to create the little whiskers. Just like that. And then I'm going to be taking the Hank and Henry Slick With It Eyeliner. This one is also from BoxyCharm. If you haven't already subscribed to BoxyCharm, I'm going to go ahead and link that down below for you guys. It's a monthly subscription box where you get five full-size products, four to five full-size products. And obviously, I have a lot of makeup from them. So just going in here and applying more black dots. And then where the black dots are, that's where I'm going to be doing the whis the whis whiskers. <laughs> okay, 
Should I go longer? I don't know. I'm scared to go longer, honestly. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Cute. All right, now moving on to the bottom lip, I'm gonna be using Pixie's Liquid Lipstick. Hold on, focus, come on, darling. Okay, there we go. So this is Pixie's Liquid Lipstick, and this one is called Really Rose. This is definitely one of my favorites, and the applicator is incredible for applying your lipstick because it's like bendable and moves along with how you're applying it onto your lips. Okay, you gotta let it dry. Otra vez como vendeja. Alright guys, so I just changed my shirt off camera real quick and did I already have my ears? I don't know. I might have applied those off camera again. <laughs> this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was very short, simple, and very doable. So if you guys have any suggestions on easy makeup looks that you guys want to see me do, then please let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully I see you guys in my next video. Bye!